I woke up during surgery and I felt him stabbing me and I couldn't say anything because I had a tube down my throat. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna finally give you guys the video of my tummy tuck slash BBL slash lipo. Um, it's been a whole 14 days since I've had my surgery done and let me tell you guys it was definitely not what I expected. I watched hundreds of YouTube videos of different girls describing their um, their experience with their tummy tucks and their BBLs and it's nothing like that. Looking for a surgeon, my surgeon top notch like really really good this video is going to go about my recovery for the first week let me just give you a rundown of what happened on august 1st which was my surgery i did it in monterrey okay the, my doctor his name is dr abelardo leal he is board certified they had me undress get in my gown they put bandages on my legs as you can see here so once I actually got into the actual surgery part, I was waiting to see when he was going to mark me. Um, well, he went ahead and marked me and I couldn't take my phone after this, you guys. So I couldn't film it because everything was sterile. This was the actual operating room. So my surgeon, top notch ladies, like top notch. I've watched several videos of the things that you'll need for your tummy tuck and your BBL. I didn't need more than half of that stuff, ladies, like at all with my surgeon, okay? And I was wondering why my surgeon didn't tell me to buy anything and it's because I didn't need anything, okay? My surgeon did a phenomenal job. So like most girls, I took a shower before going to the hospital with the Hybe Cleanse. I bought that because I thought, okay, you know, I gotta take my own shower and all this stuff. Wrong, wrong, okay? When I got to the surgery into the actual operating room, he told me, they're going to come and clean you up. Like, I didn't even need to do any of that. They took care of that. So, my surgeon came in and he marked me. Ladies, he did so awesome. Like, I am so happy that I chose him, okay? My main concern was not so much the BBL. That just came with the package, all right? My concern was my stomach area. And if you keep watching, I'm going to actually show you guys what I looked like before and what I look like what I look like now now my surgeon came in and he marked me he marked me everywhere where he was gonna take out the fat and when it came to my stomach he marked me over my belly button like it wasn't like from my belly button down no he went over my belly button because I had just so much extra skin when I went to a surgeon here in Houston she told me from the belly button down all that skin is gonna come out no my surgeon actually cares what his patients look like like he takes his time he tries to perfect their bodies okay it's not just um the tummy tuck and that's it no he wants to make sure that the ladies leave feeling happy and oh my god when i saw him go over my belly button i'm like damn he's gonna take that much skin yes he did he took off a ton of skin so once he marked me and i turned around he was like okay and he told me in spanish ¿Cómo quieres que te haga la pompi? ¿La quieres grande? ¿La quieres chiquita? ¿La quieres que se vea natural? And I was like, uh, no, you give me everything you got. Because I wanted to make sure that I look curvy because I'm pretty, I was pretty flat, okay? I had no booty, all right? So I wanted to make sure that I had an hourglass figure and he said, okay, I got you. Sleep. <laughs> but while I was getting surgery, I was turned to my sides and I remember a stabbing pain you guys like a stabbing pain and i woke up because my anesthesia kind of wore off because i got the epidural anesthesia i did not i was not fully put to sleep he gave me the epidural and then they gave me the anesthesia okay so that was wearing off so i remember waking up and i was like what the heck why do i feel it and i remember seeing the lights i remember hearing music because y'all know that some surgeons play music while they're you know working and i heard loud music and i'm like i just went like this i was kind of i was like i was like i was like and then they they saw me and so they took the tube out and they're like ¿Qué pasa? and i was like duele and that's when they just knocked me out again but yeah i literally woke up during surgery and let me tell you it felt horrible I don't think 
um, forgetting anything. Oh, I can just tell you guys, my surgeon, I did not need the lipo foams, okay? I've seen so many girls that go for tummy tucks in their BBLs, and they talk about that their clothes were drenched and all the stuff that was coming out from their lipo holes and all that. I didn't have any of that. I didn't have not, I had like one little stain, and that was down here where my drain was. Other than that, my facas were clean, my clothes were clean and all that stuff. I was expecting to be drenched like they were, and I was not. And he did such a phenomenal job, you guys. Like, top notch for the price that he charged me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and stand up so you guys can see what I look like. And I'm gonna play the videos of my actual days of recovery so you guys can see. And at the very end, I will put what I actually look like before. So make sure you watch the entire video. And make sure that you hit that subscribe button below because I also will upload another video of what I actually needed for my surgery and what I didn't, which was not a lot of stuff. So let me save y'all money, ladies. So make sure that you watch the video and make sure you subscribe. So here we go. Okay, so you see how he gave me that shape? All right, here's my butt. And I'm gonna also upload that I didn't have any butt like before that. And I'm kind of standing up straight. As you can tell my reflection right here, um, you see that? Major difference. Like I had um, this big lump that I would be able to hold and everything. And so, yeah, that's what I'm looking like, ladies. Okay, guys. So I am out of surgery. This is technically day one. I went in at nine something for my surgery, actual surgery. I've been here since six. Um, and I got out of surgery like at 12.30 and then I've been sleeping after that and I actually feel no pain, I guess, because of the anesthesia. So I feel pretty good I'm here, laying down. Um, maybe when the anesthesia wears off, I'll feel pain. Um, but hopefully the drugs will help. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty good. I'm not wearing any makeup, just my lashes. And uh, I will keep everybody posted. I threw up all over. Ew. Oh my god. Bien moretonia. Two or three thousand sit ups. It hurts. 
so I kind of have to breathe through my mouth like this. And I have this corset. Well, the, well, the faja, but it feels like I have a corset. This is my little set. My mother-in-law and my sister-in-law have been amazing. They've been taking care of me. Oh my god, I love them. But this is my pipe. Sleeping ladies. This zero gravity chair. Oh my god. It's a godsend. See, so yeah, I have my. Excruciating, excruciating pain. If I need to put on a shirt, but I've been walking around with my faja and it being opened on the bottom so I can pee. I pee in that jar right there. That woman urinal, oh my god. Every woman needs that if you're going through this tummy tuck, like bone and BBL surgery right now freaked out those pain medications that they gave me are really really strong I've seen some girls on YouTube who say that they were like hallucinating and things like that well I was like nah I don't think that'll happen to me I've had some really bad dreams heavy breathing because it scared me. I'm sitting, but I'm sitting on a baby elbow. I've had already a lot of help. As you can tell, my hair is a mess. This surgery is no joke. But I'm walking more. Walking helps a lot. So every hour now I've been getting up to walk. It's a struggle. Eater right there. I have my toilet paper right here. And that's my pee jar. And that's where I sleep. I'm not used to just laying there. I'm used to being very active. Exercising and everything. So just laying there, it's, it's I'm ready to go outside. But it is a slow, slow healing process. Don't try to rush it. Take it very, very slow. So I seen uh, some other girls' um, YouTube videos of their. Um, tummy tuck and uh, video recovery and I've seen them cry and I'm like why are they crying those pills are like no joke <sighs> okay guys so it's still Tuesday and today I had a better day 
kind of. Oh my god, I coughed earlier. I thought I was going to die. It hurts so bad. Like, oh my god, my stomach hurts so bad because of my muscles that have been repaired. It hurt. When you go through the surgery, whatever you're eating, eat extremely slow. The last thing you want to do is cough. It hurts bad. So I'm in my chair. I took off my faja. The drain. Um, I try to take it off at night only for about 15 minutes. And I'll try to rest, but then it comes right back on. I don't take it off unless I'm in a shower. Or I'm going to do number two. So since today is the third day, I did go number two. Which is so embarrassing, but... Yeah, you'll be a little constipated because of all the medicines and stuff. Oh my god. Bad. So, I'm getting there. Getting there.